Hello beautiful creatures. Welcome back to my channel Fira. If you're new here, my name is Cordelia and I like to talk about bright colorful gothic makeup, alternative fashion and lifestyle and mental health. So if you're interested in these things, please make sure that you ring that little bell down below. So today's video is all about the best gel nail polish products for beginners. And I'm putting this list together because this is a list that I know that I wish I had at the beginning. I am very fortunate that I have so many great friends who were already into doing DIY gel nails at home before I started. So I had a leg up on things to try. So the first product that I want to rave to you about is the Painted Desert Cactus Jelly Plus. This is what I use to adhere my full coverage gel nail tips to my nails. I've tried multiple adhesion methods and this is the one that I find that works best for me because of the viscosity of the Cactus Jelly Plus. And what I mean by the viscosity is that um, I like the way the fluid moves. It's not too runny on me and it's not too stiff. I started with or Orly's Builder in a Bottle, which is a great way to start, but I found ultimately that I had a lot of seepage because it is much more runny than I am. like talented to work with. Like I can make it work, but I have to do a lot of cleanup. So I tried a couple other products. I tried Enel Couture's um, bubble gum gel stuff. That's okay. Again, I had problems with the consistency to like of trying to get the correct amount because too little isn't enough. Too much is way too much. Uh, I bought another like uh, bubble gum gel type product from Amazon. that was called like Savvy Land. Also tried that. Worked about the same as the Enel Couture couture except that it's like I don't know like I don't know, like a fraction of the cost less than half the cost so those are all good options that I've tried but then when I saw the cactus jelly plus I was like well I want to give this a try because it looks like it's a, it might be a better product and luckily for me it was what I love about it is that I don't have to do a lot of the same work and manipulation with it to get the nails to it nails to adhere with Orly Builder in a Bottle, you have to put down your first coat and then your second coat you have to build up and like like float a, like they say float a bead down the center of the nail to build up the apex of the nail. And with Cactus Jelly Plus, I just put the thinnest coat possible on all of my nails, cure that. And then when I go to do the tip, I just um, paint like the inside of the half of the tip that's going to be on my nail bed. And then at the back end of the tip by my cuticle line, I will put some extra product that will help create that like glue. And for whatever reason, I hardly ever get seepage. I get the right amount and it's just, it's very easy for me to work with. So I think that it is a great product, especially for beginners or if you also struggle with flooding your cuticles with product. So that brings me on to number two tips and I think that the best tips to start with for beginners obviously this is going to depend on like what colors you like but I would recommend the daily the daily charm short black and white almond nails the reason I'm recommending this is that number one you have nails that are either pure black or pure white which is great to just use on their own or you can use them to enhance other colors um, and do a lot of nail art so if you wanted to do like a pure white manicure it's very easy same with a pure black you can easily use magnetic polishes on top of those tips and also a thing to know is you should know whether your nail beds are particularly flat like mine. Mine are like very flat like a desk. <laughs> or if your nails have a natural C curve to them, which means, you know, they have like a high apex. Because different tips are not, are, are, will, or won't fit you based on that. If you see something that says sculpture tipped, that usually means it has a high apex or high C curve. So I typically avoid those because I don't have an apex and I have to build it up. I've tried a lot of different tips. The tips that I have liked best have been the Painted Desert tips or the Daily Charm tips. And this is based off of my personal preference. Um, while I love the look of long stiletto nails, I can't really lift weights with them. So I typically keep my nails shorter even though I prefer the longer look. Sometimes I will do longer nails for a weekend like this past weekend for my Goddess Persephone costume. I'll put a link that to that tutorial up here in case you haven't seen it. I ended up doing um, my Painted Desert Medium Stiletto Nails. So they were really long. I thought they looked beautiful, made me very happy. But typically I try to keep them short and different. all different tips are not made equal. Like some of my tips are crappy. Uh, other brands that I've tried have been Apri. Apri makes really nice tips. I don't like them as well for me as I like Painted Desert or the Daily Charm, but that's, again, it's a personal preference. I've tried Kiara Sky tips, they're okay. Um, I really do not recommend the um, Enel Couture tips that I've tried. I've tried their mini sculpture coffin and their mini sculpture stiletto. And while they're not too high of an apex, that's not really the problem. I don't feel like they, at least the tips that I have, don't seem like they're uniformly cut. They're kind of like awkward and they almost 
react more like plastic, even though I don't believe they are plastic, than like a gel tip. So I just, I don't find that they work well for me. I love sticking with what works. And um, like I said, I highly recommend the Daily Charm tips for multiple reasons. And I feel like they'll give you lots of variety. The third item on my list would be the Orly Nail Tip Primer. I started with this primer. It's an amazing primer. I haven't had any use to, or any really reason to switch to another one because it just works so well. One of the cool tricks that I picked up with it is that after you dehydrate your nails, I use alcohol to dehydrate my nails and wait for that to dry. Then I will put on the Orly Nail Tip Primer and then I will put my hands inside my LED lamp for 30 to 60 seconds to heat up the primer. That really seems to help add extra stickiness. So if you are somebody who has an issue with it, I would definitely recommend doing that. The other reason I really like the Orly Nail Tip Primer is that one bottle lasts forever. Like seriously, I think my first bottle lasted me a year. I'm on my second bottle now and not even all the way through it. So it's a great product and it lasts a long time and you don't need a lot of it, especially if you're just doing, you know, DIY nails at home on yourself. The fourth item on my list is the Apri's Gelex um, Prep. This is, I think it's an acid-free etching, but what it does is you put it on the inside of your tips before you apply your nails, and it preps the inside of the tips and scuffs them up a bit, like, like if you were just to slightly rough, up, rough them up a bit so that they will adhere even better. I haven't had any issues with my tips with lifting or anything since I started using the Gelix uh, tip and the Cactus Jelly Plus and the Orly Nail Tip Primer. Those together have, all, all three of those together have really great synergy. Again, one bottle of this Apri Gelix uh, prep stuff is going to last you forever. I'm still on my first bottle and I bought it I think over a year ago or just under a year ago. I'd have to check my um, my receipt history. I'll put that up here just in case you're curious. The next item on my list is an LED UV lamp for curing your nails. I use this little lamp that was recommended to me on Amazon. It's purple, it's really cute, and it's still going strong. I've had it for two years, haven't had any lights go out. It works wonderfully, so I would absolutely recommend something like this. You can also buy like branded lamps that are from different companies, but this one for me is very affordable because um, it's, it's less expensive than a branded one and it works really well. And typically everything that I cure in the lamp, I, I, use, I usually cure for just 30 seconds. I will do 60 seconds if I feel like it's um, either really dark or I worry that it might not be cured all the way, but 30 seconds is really good for me for just about everything. So the next item on my list, I have actually tried several different branded things that just did not work well for me. Uh, it is my purple LED UV lamp that just clips onto my desk. There's different ways to do it, to have it, but it's like a gooseneck lamp and it clips onto the desk and what I use it for specifically is after I put the Cactus Jelly Tip Plus onto my, my tip, I put it onto the nail, so I marry the two together, I'm holding pressure, and I will put it under the little gooseneck lamp to cure it for like 15 seconds, and then I'll go get all of my tips on, and then I'll cure my hand under the lamp for 30 to 60 seconds. Now, I've tried other like little flash cure lights that are supposed to be much easier but they're not for me. I bought the Kiara Sky one. It's not easy for me. It, it's too awkward to get my hand into position. I bought the Beatles one. Again, same problem. I, For me, what seems to work best is just having this gooseneck lamp that's very easy for me to go and, you know, I'm holding my little nail in place and put it under the light and then bring it back and then do the next. So that that's what I do. Next on my list is files. I have the McCart e-file, which again, I've had this for two years. It's still going strong. Um, I have several like different tips. I have like a flame tip, some ceramic tips and stuff that I use for filing and it works great. What I like to use it for, um, the, for the most part is starting the removal process on my nails. So I will file off like the shiny top coat and the color all the way down to the tip or as, as close as I can get to the tip. And then I will um, use another product that I'm going to talk about to remove my, the, my nails the rest of the way. But I love the McCart e-file and I also use the McCart hand files. They are great. I, t um, I use the rougher side for like, again, removing nails or possibly for starting shaping. And then I switch to the smoother side to finish shaping. I also use the smoother side when I am buffing the natural shine off of my nails and my nail beds and kind of use it to, you know, basically prep my nails for a manicure. Next up is lint-free nail wipes. You can buy these, um, you know, like basically buy the bulk on Amazon for very, very inexpensive. And these are important because that's what I use to prep my nail before a manicure. I will use a lint-free nail wipe. I'll get some alcohol on it. I will rub down my nails. 
Um, that's basically what I do to, as part of my nail prep. It's very important. If you want to use acetone to remove your gel nail polish, which you can, but I do not recommend and I do not do, you can also use the lint-free nail wipes and like, I guess you can put aluminum foil around it to hold the liquid in to help melt the, uh, the, the gel off. The next item on my list that I think everyone should have because it's amazing and it basically takes you from having however many gel nail polishes you have to exponentially exploding the colors is the Daily Charm Unicorn Unicrome Powder. I love this stuff. It makes every color more magical. You can put it on top of anything. doesn't matter if it's a matte, shimmer, uh, glitter, whatever. You can just put it on top and it's going to add this beautiful iridescence. And for my eyes, I almost always just see it as gold, green, and pink, but it can shift through different colors and I think it's beautiful. So if you have like a black polish, you're now going to have a scarab beetle color whenever you put that, that color, uh, that, uh, the unicorn powder on top of it. You have a red, it's going to do the same. It's just such a cool product that I feel like it should be in everybody's kit. And the last item on my list for uh, the items that I think is best for beginners who are getting into gel nail polish would be the Madame Glam Gel Nail Polish Remover. It comes in a little bottle that looks like nail polish, but what it does is after you've broken through your top coat or filed off as much of your old manicure as you want, you put that onto your nail very carefully, do not get it on your skin, and you set a timer and wait for 10 minutes. At the end of 10 minutes, um, I take a like metal scraper thing and I start scraping off the gel nail polish or gel nail tip or whatever is left of the gel and repeat until it's done. Or, <laughs> So basically I scrape it all off and then I will use like an orange stick to see if I can get the, the top layer off or not. Most of the time with the way the Cactus Jelly Plus works, which I love, it just kind of crumbles it off and it comes off and it's very easy to deal with. I have tried multiple different types of this kind of remover. I've had hit or miss luck on Amazon where sometimes I've bought it and the product won't do anything and sometimes it works. So I've kind of given up on buying this gel, this type of gel polish remover on Amazon and I just buy it from Madame Glam. On that note, they do have a membership program and if you want to take advantage of having their products but not buy something new every month, what I typically do is I am subscribed to their membership but I pause my membership so I, it's only active whenever I want to buy something because I really do like their products but to me they're very expensive unless you're a part of their membership. So these are my picks for the best gel nail polish products for beginners and I wish that I had had all these to start with but I am like I said I am kind of lucky that some of these I started with but not all of them I've had to find about half this list or more. If you were looking for a way to improve your DIY gel nails at home I highly recommend that you join this Facebook group that my friend Maria started that is all about gel nail polish. I pick up all kinds of cool like tips and tricks in there and I basically only use Facebook anymore for my groups or Messenger. So I'm in this nail polish group, I'm in um, the Fearnix Facebook group, and that, oh, I'm in, I'm in like two other groups and that's it. But that, that's, that's all I do on Facebook anymore. I feel like it's just this horrible cesspool. It's not good for my mental health. If you're watching this and you're thinking about doing DIY gel nails at home and you don't know where to start, please take a look at these products. Let me know what you think. If you're looking for a tutorial on how to apply stuff, I have one you can check out. I'll put a link um, at the end of this video for you for it. And yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I love you, my friend, and I will see you next time. Bye.